Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today in this video we'll be talking about how to mint and deploy NFTs on OpenSea or any other exchange for that matter. And there are actually two ways in order to do so. Uh, there's actually this uh, ERC-1155 way which is without paying any kind of gas fees and uh, you can just create your own NFT. Uh, the other way is the ERC-721 uh, ERC token which actually is uh, deploying your smart contract and then minting your own uh, NFTs through there. So uh, this is the most popular way. The second one is the most popular way for creating uh, bulk NFTs, uh, creating a, an entire collection. So uh, for that, uh, ERC721 is used, whereas ERC1155 is used by digital artists for creating like one of uh, NFTs. And uh, yeah, let's see what's the difference between the two and uh, how to actually go about uh, creating both of them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is um, let's see an ERC721 token and uh, how it actually looks. So if you go over uh, any kind of uh, a bigger collection or any um, famous NFT uh, collection, you can see that uh, their NFTs are actually ERC721 and I'll just show it to you here. So if you go over the details, you would see that the token standard is ERC721. Whereas the uh, NFT that I'll create over here is uh, going to be ERC1155 and I won't pay gas fees at all. So let's just see how it is done and uh, I'll just show it to you. So if you press on create and um, just uh, add in your f image, video or whatever you want. So I'll just do that. Uh, let's see. Um, which should I choose? I think uh, this is a perfect NFT. <laughs> so yeah, I'll create this as an NFT. Uh, Ali Salanki, uh, night time or low light. I don't know. I'm just naming it uh, whatever I want. Then there's uh, the external link. If you have your own website uh, for this item, then you can add your uh, external link over here. Other than that, I'll just uh, write Ali Solanki in low light. Um, apart from that, you can select your collection. So you can just uh, create a collection, new collection or uh, select your already created ones, which I won't be doing over here. Um, properties, you can add in properties. So character, I can just add in mail. You can add in more properties like uh, say the time. So I want to add in night time, uh, whatever you want to add. Then um, here you can add in levels. So if you are creating a gaming NFT, it would have speed, strength, all of those uh, Things, so you can add those as well uh, then there's stats which is also uh, something similar then there's uh, unlockable content if you have your NFT uh, to have some unlockable content when people buy it uh, then you can add it over here as well you can add in some uh, access code or uh, some link to a file whatever you want uh, I won't be uh, including that, it's not explicit, uh, its supply is going to be just one. If you want to add more supplies like for the same NFT, then you can add uh, it through Polygon Network. You can just add like 900 uh, supply, but I won't be doing that. I will be keeping it uh, only on the Ethereum um, network. So apart from that, uh, we are done. We've uh, added everything and uh, we are set to create our NFT. Now, once you press on create, uh, your NFT would be created on OpenSea. So there you can uh, share it with people. Uh, you can tell them to buy your NFT and everything. But if you go over the details, so you can see that uh, here the ERC1155 token is created. When we had seen previously, uh, that was an ERC721 token. And even if you uh, click on this contract address, it will actually take you to uh, OpenSea's contract. So this is OpenSea's contract. So your NFT is just listed as a token uh, on the smart contract of OpenSea. It's not your own uh, smart contract that it's listed on. But if you go over say uh, Party Ape uh, Billionaire Club or the NFT that we saw earlier, its contract is actually listed at, as its own. So uh, all of the NFTs that are minted are actually minted on their smart 
smart contract it's not minted on open sea's contract so if say for example in the future something happens to open sea or it gets hacked or something like that your nft will be affected but um, the nfts which are created on erc721 protocol they won't be affected at all so that's the major difference between the two and uh, yeah you actually created your nft without paying any kind of gas fees but <clears throat> there's one more thing that i want to cover that most people don't and uh, that is when you try to transfer this nft say i want to transfer it to some other wallet address this is some other wallet address and if i press on transfer i would have to pay gas fees so um, if you are trying to sell it if you're trying to transfer it uh, that's where you would have to pay gas fees and there's no way around it <clears throat> so it's uh, asking me for 20 dollars to transfer it so of course i don't want to transfer it but um, you would have to pay gas fees if you want to transfer it if you want to sell it so yeah that's um, all there is for uh, this video and um, apart from that uh, the erc721 uh, protocol token i will be uh, creating a video on that too uh, but i want to make a separate video for that i want to create the stripes nft collection for that so make sure that you watch that video as well it will be uh, live on my channel soon so that's it for this video and if you like this video then do press the like button do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell icon as well